Hey everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity TV. Uh, so previous week we talked about the access filter and how to bypass this. Uh, today we are going to talk about the uh, similar filter called Access Auditor. And we are also going to see the behavior on the Internet Explorer based on the, some of the security headers with which we set uh, on the application. So now as of like, you know, pretty much all of you know, the access filter is enabled by default. So unless you go ahead and disable it, uh, whenever you install the browser, it's enabled by default. However, there was a need or a feature introduced to disable the filter. And you must be wondering like, why do we need to do that? Uh, because some of the websites were actually relying on the response, uh, the reflected response from the application, which is like, you know, filter is looking for. So that would act, that was actually messing up the, uh, the user experience. And that as a reason the, the new feature was uh, introduced. Uh, do you have any guess on like what feature that is? Uh, it's the same feature which we have discussed earlier as well which is access protection uh, value set to zero. So now whenever uh, we have we have talked about this header already as well, so I'm not gonna repeat it, but yeah, it's whenever you have the set value to zero, that means the access filter is disabled and your application or your browser is unprotected. However, uh, there was another option, which is this one, access protection uh, one, mode is equal to block. So the only difference is, if there is a potential reflector XSS detected, then when browser, what it will do is it will, rather than blocking or like, you know, altering the response, it will give you a hash time. So let's, let's see an example. I think that will clear it up. So uh, here is the Internet Explorer. And uh, as you can see, this is the test XSS page. And we'll abuse a hello world script by submitting a script block instead of a name. So here it says, please enter your name. And we are going to put this one. Uh, this page is using the access protection one mode block mode is equal to block the one that uh, we just we were just talking about uh, to prevent the rendering of the target page right so how does this header actually protect the user uh, from uh, like you know access script it's simple so when you say say hello you will see there is a little uh, hash sign on the top and it says Internet Explorer has modified this page to help prevent cross site scripting. So this was the intention by providing this particular option. Now let's also see, now this one, this one does not have a block. So when you say hello, uh, this one actually just displays the message at the bottom, but still uh, displays like, you know, uh, uh, uses the access filter. So this is the main difference when you use, use uh, protection with the zero versus mode is equal to block. Now, uh, another uh, filter which was introduced uh, by like, you know, is used by actually Chrome, Safari, Firefox, is called Access Auditor. So this implementation is only for the web kit and a blink. I think we, we saw that earlier as well, like what's the blink and, and how it's being used, etc. by Chrome and other browsers. Uh, the approach on designing the auditor is is much different and like you know it's it's been, it has been claimed that the auditor is much more secure uh and and precise uh, compared to access filter because of like you know how it is designed and architected so uh, the auditor uh, is like you know the here you will see like there are two different images so the first left hand side architecture is actually from the access auditor and this one on the right is from the access filter now the major difference you will see, there's a one big black box where you have HTML parser plus JS engine in one block. Here, we have different HTML parser and JS engine. So here, uh, how it typically works is, the filter actually analyzes the both the requests inbound as well as outbound. Uh, so suppose uh, in our previous bypass, when there's a response coming back to the browser, then it goes to the HTML parser. And then if it detects that there is something malicious, then instead of blocking it, uh, of course it, it will alter that, but it will also, it will not load the resource, but rather you will see the error message in the console. And when I say console, like you can look it up on the Chrome and, and do the inspect element and then you can see the console. Uh, that's where you'll be able to see. A lot of times if you're having trouble uh, accessing certain functionality on, on some websites, that's why it's stopping uh, because you'll see, you'll find the error message on the console. While in the XSS filter, it will the response is going to the XSS. It determines if it's XSS uh, malicious code. Then it will mangle it, like it will alter it, and then will will be sent to the JS engine and parser. 
here it's the, it's different if it's not detected by the gs engine but if the response is still uh, something malicious then it will still go through the filter and if it's say yes then yeah it's blocked and then uh, user will see the error message in the console at least user will not see that unless they actually go into the console and check it out so that's the main difference now you would think that access audited because of this design it's pretty secure uh, however that is not the true there are so many bypasses available uh, if you just google it and say like access auditor you will see plenty of uh, actually you will see you'll find more results of the bypass than the actual information on how the auditor is designed so uh, zero day is always there right so uh, probably you should also not think about because uh, someone is using access auditor the access payload cannot be bypassed but yeah you can also look it up the rules and etc and then we can still find the bypass so i would encourage you to go through and read those some of the bypass techniques and and learn from them and, and try it out yourself as well so i think that's all that's it uh, from today's episode if you have any questions drop it down in the comment section please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already hit the thumbs up uh, so i know that okay what kind of content you're looking for and i'll see you all next monday bye